sides. And as I said, an important one for the Blues. They'd lost three games in succession. Out of the side, Philip Heinrich dropped out before the match and Stephen Parker got his opportunity. Uh, Ford and Wilson were both out of the side injured. Smith and Reed both playing in the reserves. And coming in, Rick Davies and Brennan Howard, two of their champions, uh, both recovered. A uh, Wiseman coming back, Warren getting a chance, and uh, Gary Mousley, the former South LA player, also getting an opportunity. For South today, well, Chris Reynolds, that was a bombshell. He was dropped to the reserves, despite the fact that he's kicked 62 goals in the first 17 matches. Uh, Miller, Kuss and Rosie all in the reserves. And coming into the side, three players who had recovered, uh, Baines, Bennett and Carty. Of course, Hayden Mutton retiring at the end of the year as coach. And Darren Kapler coming in for his first game. Only a 17-year-old and also his, player, uh, his brother also playing, of course, for South Adelaide, uh, David Kapler. At quarter time, the Panthers were a goal in front. 5-2 to 4-2. That's when we pick up the game. Your commentators are Peter Marker and Ian Day. South Adelaide 5-2. Sturt 4-2 at the start of the second quarter here at Football Park. Sims for Sturt. Graham Brooksby for South. Sims got it back to Craig. Craig immediately on to Whittlesey. The hairball to Zoom wasn't a good one. Darrington ran past it. A bundle of players again and a rebound. South moved the ball well in that first quarter and their forward work was a lot more confident than I've seen in recent weeks. Sims got it away. Zilm. Ivanov behind Pfeiffer. Ivanov made good position. Couldn't mark the ball. But he recovered first. Palmer gets Pfeiffer out of the way. Well, he was a bit overzealous, actually, in getting Pfeiffer out of the way. And he's given away a free kick. And the diminutive Sturt Rover will put the Blues into attack. Davies is at full forward. He's on a lead now. The ball is short. Beautifully put. Davies marks... Well, you can't stop them. Davey's not the quickest player wearing football boots these days, but he's still reasonably quick, quick enough to uh, gobble up a pass like that anyway. Kick one goal in that first quarter, the kick on the way. He put that through the middle. Two goals, Davies. Sturt Ford now 5-2. South Adelaide also 5-2. Yes, it was a good lead by Davies. He got off to a two-metre start, and certainly there was nothing that Brooksby could do to catch him, let alone cut off the pass by Pfeiffer, which is a perfect one. South Adelaide made a mistake by not covering that grab. They knew the free kick had been given, and they should have had a defender in front of Davies to cut off the lead. Sims and Graham Brooksby. Whistle's gone. Sims thinks he's got the free kick. So does Brooksby. No one knows who's got it. Fusion reigns at Football Park. Brooksby's kick. A long one. Carty, Hewitt. Oh, off the pack it came. Philip Wald's got it. The kick's on the way. It's straight. Yes, South have got one. A good reply. Goal number two. In fact, goal number one to Wald. South now 6-2. Sturt 5-2. Yes, it was a good take by Ward. Too many players in the Sturt defence flew for the ball. Didn't leave one down there to try to handle the hands off and uh, or the ball off the hands. And Ward just grabbed it beautifully and tore into the open goal. South have rescued the lead. They lead by that solitary goal. Brooksby doing well for South in Ruck. Sims will get the tap away, though. Goes to Baines, a good player in that first quarter. Can't get it clear. He's been held on too long, though. Baines has got the free kick. Best I've seen Baines play for a long time. He gets it over to David Kapler. He goes long, searching for Carty. Carty way up and full forward, gathers the ball, plays it beautifully. The big fella puts the ball on the way. Hewitt's underneath it, can't take the mark. In fact, he shepherded the ball through for one point. And the South forwards are playing it pretty well. South 6-3, Sturt 5-2. Gee, Hewitt uh, tried to shepherd it through there. I was just thinking of Carty. Actually, he's got a lot of mobility now. He, he turned around Warren like he was a signpost. And big Wayne Carty, not really known for his mobility, but he's done well, especially on a, a slippery turf. Kim Warren screws a nice-looking kick back towards Sims. Made hard work of it. He should have taken that. Zubrinek unloaded. Derrida tries to use his strength to break through the pack, but he only got it back as far as Brooksby. Back to Zubrinek, and the umpire calls a line four suggesting to umpire Rick Charlesworth that it may have been over the shoulder. Rick was not impressed and bounces the ball. Brooksby in front spot, having trouble getting it out. Finally, he did to Darren Kapler. High in towards Carney. Warren there. Who's got it? Ball comes to ground. 
pack of players stack up. Wiseman gets it out and he finds Whittles. He goes long towards centre field. A bad bounce goes over Kackler. Craig through the pack like a bullet. Out in front of Davies. That's where he wants it. He leads. Great mark. Great pass. And the Sturt champion has got it 30 metres out in front. And they turn tack or defence into attack there in a flash. Rick Davies. Three kicks for two goals. Can he make it three out of four? He should. Almost face on to goal. No breeze. Ooh, that kick is pushed a little bit. It's close. A goal to Davies. His third. And Sturt trail still by a point. 6-2 to 6-3. Brilliant movement through the centre. Once the ball got through the pack, Bill Craig snared it took off like a man possessed saw Davies break out of the blocks and it hit him right on the chest and the Sturt champion converted for his third south 6-3 Sturt 6-2 Sims at the center bounce against Brooksby Sims coming in on the check side who's going to get the free kick on this case well that's interesting how a player can come in on the check side be behind and get the free kick still he did and he kicks it towards the half forward line too many up for South Adelaide Fry with a chance we got the long handball to Hollis from Davies. Going to be close. What's the result? I think he's got a goal. His second. Good football, Sturt. Mistake by the South defence. Once more, too many players up. Nobody down for the crumbs. And Sturt hit the front 7 2 to 6 3. It took about 25 seconds, that goal, straight down from the centre of the ground. And uh, the flew is in, called it. Davies snared it. Put a long bullet-like hand pass out to Hollis, who converted for his second. Sturt regains some composure now, 7-2, south 6-3. See what happens here now at the ruck uh, throw down. He's in front again, Brooksby. Daly comes out with the ball, chips to the half-forward line, looking for young Kapler, who holds ground well. Two youngsters together. Motley and Kapler. Kapler, both 17-year-olds, quickly plays on, up towards full forward, looking for Hewitt. It's wise, but in defence for Sturt and cunningly lets the ball go out of play in the full forward right pocket for the Panthers. Didn't quite work South's forward movement out yet in. Uh, I think Carty's at full forward. Hewitt's in a pocket, but I think they're only playing five set players ahead of centre. Carty gets the tap down. Sturt players everywhere. Running it clear is Derrington. Searching for the boundary and finds it. It will be balled in. Whittlesey appears to be the player that hasn't got an opponent up forward. Carty's come down for the tap. Sims in front. Or snared again by Daly. Ran into a brick wall though. Radbone. Finding it hard to get the ball, Radbone. Couldn't bounce the ball very well there, but pushes it out towards Michael Graham. He's in front of David Kapler. Too much pace and balance. Kapler recovers beautifully. Short to Baines. Baines had to play it on. Ivanoff. Pfeiffer, in comes White, Pfeiffer's caught, still got the ball, the umpire will bounce it. South trailing by five points. Sims and Graham Brooksby, Sims got it down, but Baines recovered. Whittlesey's going to mark that one. He's also almost at centre-half back, as Peter Marcus said, he's well up from the back pocket, drives towards the centre-half forward spot, in front is Fairclough, takes a good mark. He returns it to his half-forward line. It's the Bickler who's changed into the short Guernsey towards Kapler. Actually, he's done quite well in his debut. High towards full forward. Warren and Carty. Carty too strong, too good. It takes a fine mark by getting Warren underneath the ball and using his body cleverly. Is that Kapler uh, does look good in. It's, uh, I know it's sometimes not good to write a player up early, but everything he's done has been very good. He's had five kicks, and uh, he looks a confident player. Carty 30 metres out, he could have hooked that one. He hooked it straight round the body. One point only to Wayne Carty and South 6-4. Sturt 7-2 and we've played eight minutes of the second quarter. South have had problems this year in up forward, haven't they? Reynolds uh, had a lot of touches but couldn't kick straight. South have had, uh, well actually he's only been kicking problems, Peter. They've been yep. getting the ball quite well. Over the top it goes. Robin White couldn't touch it. Craig does. derringer has got it now. Back to Craig it goes. Davies is out of the blocks again. Craig wants him, but the kick's not exactly where Davies wanted it. He gets it. The beautiful handball to Pfeiffer. Over the top to Zilm. Zilm into an open goal, but the whistle's gone. 
Pfeiffer was put down. And Fife is going to get the free kick. Well, Ian, have you ever seen a side inconvenient so much by a decision? Why couldn't they play to advantage, Peter? I mean, if Pfeiffer was hit after he got rid of the ball and the Sturt players running into the open goal, you would have thought that they played the advantage. It doesn't matter. They've kicked the goal. Pfeiffer got Notch's goal number two. But nevertheless, it must be peeving to Sturt supporters to see that one let go. 8-2 Sturt, South Adelaide 6-4. South starting to struggle now in the first nine minutes of this second quarter after a good first quarter effort. Sims, Howard, Butler pushed in the back and the free kick goes to the South Utility player from the defensive corner of the square. He runs it to Bennett. Over the centre line go the Panthers. Hardy wants it out in front of him. It's going to get to that fellow, but this time Warren is equal to the task and he thumps the ball clear. Out of play, full forward right pocket. A throw in about 30 metres around from the behind post. We stirred in front by 10 points. Cardi wants Capper over to his left where he tries to get it. Pfeiffer was in the road. Cardi came out with the ball, twists and turns. Daly tries to hook it back to advantage. Who's behind the pack? Ball. But the umpire has seen a free kick. And I think it's going to South Adelaide. Johnson the Bickler. 20 metres out in front. And it appeared to be holding the man, Peter. Southfire is having a chat to Wiseman. There it is on the screen, and he's indicating to him that it was against him. Well, the Bickler's got the ball right in front. Shouldn't miss this. It's his third kick. And he's just got it through for his second goal. And South Adelaide now trail 7-4 to Sturt's 8-2. Carty was once again involved in that, and... Uh, your comment, in about his mobility, I would support absolutely. He got out of that well, gave it to Naley. Naley did the right thing by bringing it back in front of goals rather than shooting. And uh, not quite sure whether the intrusion was there, but Snee Bickler got the nod. He got the kick and kicked the goal. 7-4 south. They're still in it. Sturter 8-2. At the centre bounce, Sims and Brooksby. Sims hooks the ball away. Hawkins appears to be playing centre-half forward at the moment. Travel on the outer side there was Pike. Craig handball away, thief by Naley, who did it well. Kicks long to the half forward line. Mousley in defence, thumps away. Whittlesey goes for Michael Graham, being pretty well held at the moment by Baines. Pike, through he goes with that blistering pace. He's bumped off as he gets the kick away. But Ivanoff in defence is too strong. Very good back pocket player, Ivanoff, this year. He's getting better with every match. He finds Butler. Butler will go short to Naley. Gee, how can they let Naley loose like that? Naley ignores Brooksby, who tries to take Graham out. Here's kick number 10 coming up for the South champion. Long. Oh, a big fly there from Wolf. Couldn't take the mark. Wiseman recovers first. Plenty of pace, short to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer on the half-back flank. Sturt going to the action again. Long to the half-forward line. Eddie Fry up high. Kapler couldn't pull it down. Fry through again, gives the chance to Craig, but it's Derrington that goes in. Heavily bet, and the umpire's given him a free kick. Jim Derrington on the attacking corner of the square to put the Blues in towards Davies. Brooksby's getting back to cut off that lead now. The Brooksby twins in opposition to Davies. But Derrington had to get the ball back in any case. Davies on the lead now. Out goes the pass, but it's intercepted by South Adelaide's Bennett at centre-half back. He swings it wide to Phil Brooksby. Set a wing. Daly beautifully done. Through, around and over Whittlesey. Off he goes. Finds Robert White. Oh, he dropped it. Thumped it away. Pfeiffer. Bowsley. Sims. Pike. Off the half-back line. Back to Sims. Whittlesey. Pike again. Intercepted, however, by Howard. He can have a bounce. Over the half-forward line goes the blue skipper. Puts it in towards Davies. Brookby in front. Tried to half volley it, taps it over. Bennett gets the handball away. Palmer, half back flank. Kepler, cleverly back towards Brooksby. This is Graham Brooksby. He's pushed into the back and gets the free kick on the half back flank. He's going to play it on. Fairclough's got it. Wool gives the lead at 10 and a half forward. Darren Kepler behind Motley. Well done, the young lad. Put it over the top. Wiseman is caught. 
Robin White backs up. South end with another chance. Hately. Zubernick appeals for a free kick. Hately with too much pace. Dives on the ball. Back it goes to White. He shrugs the Zubernick tackle. Warren almost marked the ball, then left it behind. Motley's kick's not a good one. Bowsley's in trouble. Dropped the ball. Warren picks it up. Gets an awful kick away. Baines marks it and stops the play right down because he's going to have a shot for goal. Well, what a comedy of errors, Peter. <laughs> some of those kicks from the Sturt defenders then, or some of the movements were awful in. Kick number 11, Baines. He looks to have the distance. Through it goes. His first goal, and Baines is playing very well indeed. South 8-4. Hit the front. Sturt 8-2. The ball handling wasn't good, but I suppose the Sturt uh, defence was desperate and the South tackling was good. Wouldn't let them get clear. Bowsley could have gone for holding the ball, but finally the poor kick went out to Baines, who converted from a long way out, and Sturt make an interchange. Spilled back on for Sims, and South have wrested the lead from Sturt. They lead 8-4 to 8-2. Hawkins and Sims. Hawkins' front spot knocks it down. Pfeiffer can't grab it. Robin White can. Naley with the run. Radbone takes it off him. Beautifully played the Sturt wingman. Hooks one back. Craig in front. Plenty of opposition. Didn't take the mark. Kepler did well. Pfeiffer. Caught. David Kepler. Short. Baines. Pfeiffer again. Gets the handball out. Went past Zubernick. There's Darren Kapler, a good player for South so far. Wold, Pike, Motley, back to Pike. Pike left the ball behind. Hately fell over. Gee, there are a lot of mistakes out there. Finally, Darren Kapler, a good handball. Oh, fair play was on his own at centre half forward if they saw him. Mousley ducks the head. Warren's got it. Short. Motley's almost taken a great mark. I think he may have been paid. Gee, Beckley was loose set at centre half forward in only if they saw him. Peter, he was 10 metres clear. But if doesn't win football games, and Peter Motley's got the ball on the half back line. Towards centre wing. Spiel knocks it back. Craig hasn't flashed into the game that often, but what he's done has been brilliant. Ivanov up, can't bring it down. Derrington chance now. Try to get a handball away. He did. Zoom puts it out in front of Eddie Fry. Hollis wants it if they can get it to him. It's towards him now. Left foot's in towards goal. I think he's hooked it too far. Right across the face of goal. The umpire went for a gallop. And one point only to Hollis. Palmer kicking off for South. Boys going short. Butler is in trouble. Trying to pick the ball up. Got a high tackle from Radbone. And Butler will take the free kick. Now he's got no one to kick to. He's going to have to go very long. Graham Brooksby in the centre of the ground. Whittlesey. Centre half forward. Condor picked it up beautifully. Left foot's one to centre half forward. Wald is there. Good mark. He wanted to play on. Hawkins has given him a chance. But he'll probably go along to Carty. Carty gets under the ball now. Up he goes. Oh, he's too bad. He's going to be paid. I think he three grabbed that one in. It was uh, a good decision, though. Oh, Peter, I'd have paid the mark. It was an extraordinary catch, excuse me. But uh, he got one hand to it, and as he went down, he looked like a dying swan as he went down. He just had the ball on the end of a fingertip, and the umpire paid the mark. Wayne Carty, an important shot for goal. Kick number six. It's on its way. That's goal number three. South now 9-4. The Blues 8-3. South are playing pretty well. I would think Sturt would be worried at this stage. It's the uh, it's the smaller players that are getting them started. Daly's having an exceptional game. Fairclough at centre wing. We've got White, Baines, and all of them chipping in. And Wald and Capra across the half forward line are giving South Adelaide something to to move about with. And Hawkers now playing centre half forward. South who were a little lethargic in that first ten minutes of the uh, quarter and now back in the top gear and they've turned a 13-point deficit into a seven-point advantage. There's a blue to go with... Cody is changing Spiel and Sims off the fence today and uh, I don't know that that's what Spiel likes. His effect on this game is nowhere near what it is normally. Naley again beautifully done, but the kick's not a good one. Straight to Botley, in fact. I think that rucking setup of Sturt is causing Jack Odie some problems. Whittlesey takes the mark. 
kick number seven we'll see the center half forward or Baines from behind almost took the mark he's in trouble now he's surrounded by Sturt players he gets a free kick for pushing the back lucky to get out of that Baines will go short Condo south of got loose players running down from the back line played one short in front of goal Palmer goes short or Cardi didn't want it Warren kicks to Bennett. Jack Hardy wouldn't be wrapped in what Warren just did. Bennett goes long to centre half forward. Steve Bickler, Motley again. Oh, he's going to be paid. Well, the players weren't sure about it. Motley's got the mark though. Gee, they said long arms, very safe hands. Spiel in the centre. Knocks it over. Craig, Darrington, Fry. Hooks it over the shoulder. Brooksby in front of Davies on this occasion. Oh, he's knocked it back to Michael Graham. Sturt Centerman not quite sure what to do with it. Puts it out to Eddie Fry. Now he's got a straight kick at goal. Shocking. Out of bounds on the full. And here they, Sturt, uh, are not looking too confident. Peter, it's most unsturt-like. Eddie Fry, when he was well clear, and uh, Jack Odie obviously not happy. He's going to make another interchange. Stephen Parker's about to enter the game as Derrington's got the ball on the half forward line. Michael Graham undecided what to do. Sturdard definitely hesitant. Now he pushes out a pass to Hollis, overcomes Palmer and thumps the ball away. Baines in defence. Shrugs that tackle. No one to kick to really. Tries to hook it back to White. Howard over the top. In goes Radbone against the tie. Takes a heavy knock and the free kick as well. Well, the kid's got knocked around the face. He's okay as he quickly gets to his feet. And Parker's going on, and it's Zubernick being relieved of his command at the moment. Nice kick by Redbone, right in towards Davey. Pushing and shoving, and coming back to beat the ball is Conda, and he's got the mark in defence. Undecided which side to relieve the situation. Looks for Hawkins on a long lead up from centre half forward, and the big fellow's got it. He plays on. Has to go back onto the left boot. Not a good one. He's kicking straight to Pake, his opponent. Tim Pake loves to run with the ball. Kick number three. To Sturt centre half forward. Davies up far too early. Couldn't mark the ball. Butler pirouettes. Short with the left boot. Not a good kick. Perhaps he thinks Mousley's still playing for South. Went straight to him. Pake's on the run again. The kick long. Gee, didn't have a look on that occasion. Palmer's under him. Good mark. Daly provides the run. He's still a chance to get this ball. Palmer is not going to use him. He's going to go short. Kapler. Gee, he loves some risk, the South captain. Well, Kapler's going to go the other way. Brooksby. That's Phil Brooksby. Long. In front, Wald. Two grabs. No mark. Fairclough left the ball behind. Pfeiffer back to Mousley. Stirred in again. Plenty of mistakes. And the Hawkins will mark Hawkins has got plenty of room to move, but he's not kicking well either. Straight back to Whittlesey, who takes the mark, but made it look hard. Kicks straight into a nest of Sturt players. Neither side kicking that well in this quarter. Five and off, it's almost kick to kick. Swings it wide to Shane Butler, who can have a run. Changes his mind, kicks long in towards Brooksby. Getting up, can't bring the mark down. He's on his natural left foot, but he puts out a handball. Got a good one, well done, Wiseman. The handball away wasn't that flash, Mousley. Wiseman butters up again as he drives them back centre field. Bennett should be first there. Doesn't get the best of bounces. Right there with him is Hollis. Out goes Hollis. It wasn't Hollis, it was Parker, the new player on. Fair clow. Looks for White, can't half on it. Chance field, Brendan Howard. For the half forward line looking for eddie fry can't keep his feet condor's on him bennett comes out with the ball will use daly daly's got to get round parker oh, he has a bounce put him through in a bit of a hole now hooks back center field baines under the hammer from craig the ball goes towards or oh, baines himself tries to give out a handball spill craig fry he hasn't got it either derrington and the umpire is going to give a free kick the ball handling in this quarter has been far from good. Robin White was held when he didn't have it. Plays on. Hawkins now having a stint in ruck. Looks for Snee Bickler. Wiseman's into the back of Snee Bickler. No free kick. Or Charlesworth put the whistle up. He was going to blow it. Sturt come out through Pake. 
Bad luck there from South. Oh, great effort, Ivanov. Beautiful handball to Hakeley. Hakeley centers the ball. Sneebick were trying to get under it. Howard was very late on the scene. Sneebick were took a heavy one. And uh, Charlesworth is reporting Howard for the use of an elbow. Now, I think he's in trouble again, Peter. Brendan Howard cannot take a trick. Jack Odie worried. Has he lost his skipper again, or at least his vice captain? Rick Davies, the captain, of course. But Brendan Howard looking exceptionally sick. And Peter Marker, it certainly didn't look from this angle to be a reportable offence. But uh, the Bickler has taken the mark and the heavy knock. He's got a 15-metre penalty, the Bickler. Although, in fairness to ourselves here, we are in line with the run of the Bickler. Brendan Howard, not looking all that happy. Neither would I if I'd just been reported. We think we've, he's been reported. But John Stabickler's got the ball 20 metres out in front. Chips away, and the umpire said he's got his third goal. And South Adelaide kick clear 10-4 to Sturt 8-3. Stabickler is having some attention to his mouth, but... The ball came in high and Steve Bickler was under it. I thought that Howard probably could have got in there earlier, but he elected to come in late. Now, umpire Charlesworth had a very good look at it. When he came in and spoke to uh, Brendan Howard, he made it quite clear that it was the use of an elbow. 10-4 south, Sturt 8-3. Kim Warren couldn't find Carty on that occasion. Screws a nice kick back into play, but it's straight to Hawkins, who takes the mark in front of Brendan Howard. Appears that he was reported in the second quarter. Butler, Spill well shepherded. Laney should have taken it. Carty there looking for it. The Bickler winds out of the pack, crashes through the tackle, gives a chance now. Fairclough into the open goal, and South have got another one. Fairclough's first. Good constructive handball, and South have got 12 goals on the board. They lead 12-6 to 8-3. Well, South are looking good. Big Wayne Carty again. Got the ball out. Snee Bickler ended up with it. Threaded his way through a pack beautifully to fair close. Through it went. And South Adelaide are making Sturt look a little bit second-rate at the moment. Although it's early days, we're only four minutes into the third quarter. South have got a good lead. 12-6 to the Blues, 8-3. Sturt had their inter uh, Ruckman interchanging from the bench in the first half, but they've got them both on the ground now. Sims up in the forward line. Spiel, who just got that tap away. Hately got the handball out. Craig with the opportunity. He and Baines had a bit of a dust up in that second quarter. Michael Graham opportunity over the half forward line. Shows a clean pair of heels. Goes in long. That's going to be a goal. Beautifully done, Michael Graham. You don't want to give him five metres start. He left them for dead as kick number four goes through for his first goal. And Sturt trail 9-3 to South Adelaide's 12-6. The ball came out into the open there and Michael Graham swooped on it. Kicked a much needed goal for Sturt. They haven't started the third quarter well at all. Davies at 10 half forward, Hollis at 4 forward of the moves. Sturt still trailed by three goal three. Spiel and Hawkins. Hawkins tap. Robin White kicks out to the half forward line. Pike looking for it. Carty taps it cleverly, looking for Hately. Pike has got too much pace. Almost gets clear. He can't get clear. Great tackle by young Kepler, who's played well in his debut. The handball away wasn't good. Butler tries to get it out to Hately. He'll want backup support. The handball is not good. Young Kepler with the opportunity makes a couple of metres before the ball tumbles out of play. South pushing the ball forward. Sturt two Ruckman, Spiel and Sims off the bench in the first half. That didn't work. I don't think Spiel likes it that way. Derrington, well, he's played the ball in front of him. He's caught now. Still trying to get it clear. In comes Pike. Up by Charlesworth letting the game go on. A good pick up from Zill, but out it goes for a ball in. Young Darren Kappler there, number 21 in your screen. A good debut for South Adelaide today. Kicked a good goal in the first quarter. He's done some pretty useful things. Pike is his opponent now. Graham Brooksby in ruck. Well robed Naley. Try to get around Pike. Almost went out of bounds that ball. Pike's caught again by Naley. Held too long. Pike will take the free kick. Naley's got tremendous pace because Pike can really move, but he ran him down. But Naley looks a bit proppy after that interchange. Exchange. 
The handball to Craig wasn't good. Nate Hatley looks for the free kick. He won it. Plus 15 metres. Brings Hatley to centre half forward. A bit to the right of that position. And a good kick would make the distance. Rain drizzled down a little bit at the start of the quarter. It seems to be okay now. Made conditions a little slippery. Hatley's kick is going to drop short. Carney, one grab, can't complete it. What support? Gets heaved down. Look for the free kick. Didn't win it. Wiseman threads his way through. Did it well. Handball to Graham is good. Likewise to Eddie Fry. Butler wants to run him down. Fry is clear. The long kick to Sturt's half forward line. Ivan off and Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer gets his hands to it first. Beatles off. Kicks it towards full forward. Sims getting to it. Palmer there as well. Sims can't handle it. And the ball tumbles out of play in Sturt's full forward right pocket. Palmer is playing that fullback position extremely well for South. Spoiling when he has to and marking when he thinks he can. Ball in. Sims in front of Hawkins. Pfeiffer. Or the kick away. Here's danger, but it's Palmer again. Playing solidly in defence. The handball comes out to Hatley. Baines gives the run, but Hatley kicks it further afield. Butler and Whittlesey. Kapler. Well played it beautifully in front of him. Oh, the kick's not a good one. Out on the full. And Craig will take the relieving free kick. He's got Michael Graham in the middle. Kick number five only for Craig. Hollis. Conda. Zilm. He's had a couple of good pickups today, Zilm. Kapler, he's in trouble. Tries to get it out to Naley. On the ball again to Naley, and that was a quick decision, which will go in favour of Michael Graham. Naley not happy with that one in. No, Peter, I thought it was justified. I thought he dropped the ball when he was tackled by Graham. It was a good tackle, and Michael Graham's got the opportunity 45 metres out. With a wet ball, it might be a difficult kick. It's a nice looking kick. It's going to be marginally short. Palmer over the top. Condor the first to recover. Goes round on the left leg. The kick away is not good. Fairclough and Radbone. Fairclough, Radbone. One on one in comes Motley. He's playing an attack at the moment. Ivanoff gives Hawkins a chance, but big jumbo Prince comes in. Handball back. Motley tries to break the tackle. Can't get away. Pfeiffer. Loses possession of the ball. In go the heavy bodies. Naley tries to crash out. Fairclough gets the ball. White with a chance to clear. The kick is not a good one. Goes up towards Fry. And Pike. Swings out the long handball. Brendan Howard. Centre wing. Centres it shortly. Davies. Good football. And Davies has got it too far out to score. Sims in the square waiting for it. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation at the moment. Sims thought about a lead, then aborted, and Davies going back to kick long. Well, I've seen him kick him from this distance with a dry ball, but not this afternoon. The kick is a mammoth one right into the edge of the square. Sims in the front. One, two, grab. Brooksby comes out with it. Dummies that handball. Gives a chance to Baines. Baines off the half-back flank. Kicks wide looking for Hatley and finds him. Baines a very good player for South today. Oh, Hatley played it on to Butler. Not the best movement we've seen. Short to Carty. Plays it in front of him, tries to keep it in. Big Wayne Carty has certainly played well for South today. Kick two in the first and one in the second. Missed an easy one also in that second quarter. But he's playing full forward well. Knocked down. Pake doing better now for Sturt. He's caught by Kapler. Well, the handball is not a good one. Wool's got it. Onto the left boot he goes. Gee, that's going to go close if it bounces truly. I think it has. Yes, Wald has got one with his left boot. That's goal number three. And a very, very important one for South Adelaide. 13-6 now to Sturt, 9-3. Well done, Philip Wald. But a poor handball from Sturt in defence. Wald intercepted it and went through on his left leg. And John Stamickler almost hurt himself there, trying to get an acrobatic kick away. When the ball propped just close to the line, he tried to leap up and kick it through and he collided with the goal post but he's okay now although the runner goes out to him south 13 6 dirt 9 3. john snobickler and the wars were doing a great job for south adelaide today and they went on to win 19 10 124 to sturt 15 10 100 sturt struggling for the moment snobickler got six goals carty three wald three and hately two and for the double blues hollis four davies three five for two and derrington two john's my second best friend yeah and i can't feel it because we had a good game and a good win so it makes all the difference 
John, that's about the best I've seen South Adelaide boring and get the ball all season. Yeah, it certainly shows when we do put four quarters together what we can actually do. We had confidence, back up, run, everything today. Third 15, 10, 100. Sturt struggling for the moment. Stubickler got six goals. Carty three, Wald three, and Haightley two. And for the double blues, Hollis four, Davies three, five for two, and Derrington two. John's top second best friend. Yeah, yeah, and I can't feel it because we had a good game and a good win, so it makes all the difference. John, that's about the best I've seen South Adelaide boring and get the ball all season. Yeah, it certainly shows when we do put four quarters together what we can actually do. We had confidence, back up, run, everything today. You had a lot of players uh, moving the ball well, did a lot of running, and I felt that possibly South Adelaide had more of the play than the score indicated. Yeah, I think, uh, Ian, we would have had 70% of the play. Um, the last five minutes started to die off a bit, but then we picked up again, so it was a real good effort by the boys. Yes, you started what they got within three goals, and we could see perhaps an upset, but um, you just steadied in time. Yeah, all the boys put up together and went well. Young Darren Kepler on the half-forward line, a promising young player, good to boo. Yeah, very good first game. Um, he's still a lot to learn, but he'll get there, no worries. And I thought Wayne Carty's effort up forward is getting better each week. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne's been injured for a while with his ankle, and he's done it again today, but...